This is Camp Kennedy. What's happening, everybody? Uh, we all have our own special grooming routines. I pluck my eyebrows and shave my head because nature seemed fit to put a tarantula on my forehead and remove the very luscious hair I used to have. But I bet you didn't know that Dollar Shave Club, yes, that Dollar Shave Club has all your grooming products. Toothpaste, body wash, hair styling products, which I don't use, but everything that you may need to look, feel, and smell your best. Now, Dollar Shave Club is offering New members, their daily essential starter set for just five bucks. They're basically giving it away. Uh, the set features their executive razor plus three trial size versions of the most popular products uh, to help you feel and look your best. Uh, in the first box, you will receive Dr. Carver's Shave Butter. Okay, this stuff is really good. Their Lavender Body Cleanser, which just calms you down because, okay, Lavender. It's great. It's great. Love it's it. it's soothing. But here's what I'm most excited about, right here, the One Wipe Charlies. Uh, it's their butt wipes. Now, this is something I can get behind because my behind has never felt better. Uh, it's also got the original peppermint scent. Uh, so who doesn't like a fresh feeling tuchus? Is that the proper technical term? I think so. Yeah, it took us, right? I mean, look, this is serious stuff here, folks. Uh, in addition to those, you will also get their executive razor with its weighty handle and a full cassette of cartridges. And after that first box, you'll receive new cartridges every month for just a few bucks. So I'm really excited because, uh, as you know, I shave. I'm hairy in all the wrong places, uh, sadly. And um, what are you laughing at? You're supposed to laugh at me. Gosh, Kate. It's funny. Well, anyway, it is funny. But uh, here's what's not funny. This razor blade does its job. Look at the line I get. It's a smooth shave. Uh, this is a cool partnership. I'm really excited because you can spend so much money on these things, uh, but not with Dollar Shave Club. So if you'd like to take advantage of this $5 offer, it's, it's at, what is that? It's at Dollar Shave Club dot com slash camp Kennan. you heard that right these guys approached us they love what we're doing they wanted to get behind us uh so i thought hey this is a great partnership a lot of guys watch the show you're probably hairy hey maybe some of you gals are hairy and you want to shave your legs i really don't know but what i do know is that their partnership is going to help us make more fun exciting videos uh so head on over to dollarshaveclub.com slash camp Kennan. help support us support them everyone wins you're less hairy we just have a great time. And that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna head on out and check out. Uh-oh. Listen to this, my brother has found the children. But anyway, we're gonna go on out and we're gonna find, um, what are we gonna find? We're gonna find some turtles. Yeah, fly river turtle. Yeah. You guys are gonna be stoked on this. This is exciting. So exciting. Going into Slinky's cage. You nervous? Yeah. All right, Very. Good. That's good. I like okay. when you're nervous. Oh, great. Play and I'll walk up. All right, we want, I... Oh, hey, did you press play? Yeah, we're Oh, rolling. we're back. All right, so check it out. We're rolling out. My big brother Dan's in town, which is kind of cool. Uh, I don't know if he like. He don't really like to be on camera. You want to be on camera? No, he don't care. He oh, don't all right. Care about that. What's that the kids there? are here. We're hanging out. The kids were just going to show um, my brother the snake. They'll take him over there. But I wanted to show you guys something else that I'm really excited about because... Um, all right, everyone's been asking about the Fly River Turtle. What happened to the Fly River Turtle? This, that, the other. Well... I had a few Fly River Turtles here, okay? Um, they were sent to me uh, by a couple of zoological insta institutions. Come on over here. Oh, that's right. Oh. You're afraid of this. I am, and there's just water There's everywhere. water. Walk over the water. Walk over water. There God. you go. Yeah, so I got the Fly Rivers. Um, you know, we, we put them in other private facilities. Um, but there's something interesting that's happened. I found one. I found one in the pond, but it is not the one I lost. It's weird, man. Check this out, guys. We're gonna pull it out. I don't think it's the one I lost because there's something up with its flipper, but it is possible that it got nibbled on in the time that it left the front yard pond and the, oh yeah, that's right, she's afraid. Where is he? He's inside. Want me to shut the door? Yeah, just shut the door. Yeah, I'll shut the door so we don't have. Ooh. All right, good. We shut the door so Yay. Kate's not terrified about my lizard. Um, all right, so as I was saying, I got a few different fly river turtles. Um, there are a couple in that pond, but I found one in that pond that doesn't look like, it looks more like the one that was in the front yard. So it's kind of weird. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get it out 
And I, I just think the flipper's different. I, have to, I haven't found all three. Well, remember, I'm missing one, so I had two others. But this one looks a little suspect. Um, and I got to try and get it. But the injury to its flipper, it could possibly be the other turtle. Oh, this is going to be hard to do, guys. That's a very flexible move there. It uh, looks like you've been doing some yoga or something. Thank you. Yeah, well, you know, I like to stay spelt and <laughs> whatnot. Oh, he's going to pull me in. He's going to pull me in. No. Okay, so check it out. Now, somehow I have to get up. Without... Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, Yeah, there squats. You go. Squats. Wow. Uh, so check this out, guys. Quad. It looks identical to me as the guy in the front pond, right? Um, but here's the only thing, and I don't know if this is a new or old injury, but look at its flipper. It's got a little bit of a scallop taken out of that flipper. Mm. So I'm not sure, man, I'm freaking out because if we revisit the initial video, you guys will remember that I, I didn't have the large gate on it, uh, the larger fence, I had the small fence. And since we did that video, so many people have written to me uh, especially people from Europe who um, work in uh, aquariums. There's a story of a female fly river turtle climbed out of an aquarium holding tank, okay? Walked about 350 feet down steps into the basement and was starting to lay her eggs in the basement. This is a true story, an email I got from uh, a keeper uh, from one of the aquariums over there uh, in, uh, the, in Europe. So we now know that they're way more mobile than people give them credit for. Um, this one's a little nervous. It is a male, which was the, the other one. Um, it's the same size, the same shell. I mean, I'm just, I'm gonna have to go back in that pond and really look to see if I can find the other two. If I find another two, then this is definitely my missing fly river turtle. But I don't know, man, I'm, I'm a little excited, but I'm, I'm tempering that excitement because of, only because of that flipper. Now it is possible, now all the turtles that I put in had normal flippers, so it's possible that the missing one got bit, it's possible that this one that I put in, uh, or the one that was in there, uh, got bit. I'm not 100% sure. I won't be sure until we drain the big pond, uh, the Asian turtle pond that I have, and uh, really take a look. But everything else looks very similar to the missing Fly River Turtle. Is this it? I don't know. I want to ask you guys because I know you're eagle-eyed. Uh, watch the other videos. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think. I'm, uh, I don't know. I'm hopeful because I really don't think someone walked all the way into my property and got it. And just so you know, uh, I have put measures in place uh, to protect my animals. Um, and then as I've been mentioning in videos uh, along the way here, um, you know, Kyle and I have something that we're planning and uh, the animals are totally going to be safe. There's going to be a pretty big announcement here pretty soon. So um, that's what I'm thinking. So comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Like the video if you like it. Uh, dislike it if you don't like it. But uh, leave me a comment and let me know what you guys think. This turtle obviously is back in here with Slinky because I'm not taking any chances. And to be perfectly honest, it's such a large animal. I've put so many animals in my aquascape pond that I don't want to overcrowd it. Um, and I want to give these guys a really large enclosure. And that's just what my buddy Kyle and I are coming up with. You'll see soon, everybody. There's gonna be a lot of fun coming out. Anyway, bonus video for you. It's controversial. Um, I hope this is him or I hope he wound up in one of the other ponds. Uh, other than that, folks, mm -hmm. thanks for watching me. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to go on to patreon.com slash Camp Cannon. And uh, hey, don't forget about Dollar Shave Club. We love those guys. They're helping us make more videos. So head on over to dollarshaveclub.com slash Camp Cannon and order your daily essential starter kit. Uh, he doesn't need it, but I certainly do. All right, everybody, we're going to put this guy back. And uh, we're going to go wrangle up those chitlins. They want to see some animals. Uh, right, Soph? You want to see animals? All right. We're on our way. Thanks, everyone, for watching. We'll see you again soon.